Hi, how you guys doing? Watch Andy Demitage. I'm Andy. Uh, this we're going to talk about Survivor. This is Survivor Edition 33. We just finished our first week of Survivor. Uh, basically, uh, it's divided this year by generation. Generation X versus the Millennials. All right, so we got that out of the way. How to divide it up? All right, so uh, basically. Uh, when they got off the boat, they went to the beach, and that's where they saw Jeff. And of course, Jeff divided them up into two groups at that point. And he says, "Hey, okay, guys, this is what we're going to do. You see behind me here, uh, out in the in the woods here, is all the stuff that you need to start the game, like for survival. So you have to run out there. You have two minutes to get whatever you think you need to start off the game. Now, there's some stations, he said, that you have to either Something that's short-term gain or something that's long-term gain. You can only take one of the two items. So that's what they have to do. And there's some other items that you just grab and go, right? All right. Now, as we all know, in Survivor, and Survivor is pretty well known for this. They leave clues anywhere. From as soon as you start the game, game is on. So you better have your eyes peeled and you better be sharp. And there's only one person that was sharp during the whole time. But Jessica, all right? So she's out there running around. Of course, some guy just grabbed some fruit or something. Boom. And of course, what comes out of the out of there is an envelope. Surprise, surprise. No, not me. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Because uh Survivor they put stuff like that everywhere. So there we go. She grabs it. She puts in her back pocket, tells nobody. First good move. She found it. Second good move. Don't tell nobody. And hopefully she keeps it that way. All right. So they gather everything. Boom. They all took off to their, each of their own beaches. So once they got there, of course, Jessica was sitting there saying, no, I'm going to have to bugger off here and read what this thing says. So she, you know, she just made some kind of excuse and the way she went. So she's out there and she's like, she opens it up. She reads, it, she reads it. Anyways, according to the letter, if she makes it day thirty-six, all right, she will have an advantage in that point in that game. It doesn't say what's the advantage. And of course, another part of the clause is if she gets voted out. Before day 36. Well, she has to give it to another tribe mate. All right. Now, this is going to be very interesting with this whole envelope thing, right? Is if she does get voted out, where does it go? Who uh, does she make an alliance with? Who does she give the advantage to? And where is that advantage going to end up at the end of the game? Who's going to have it? Who knows? Maybe some of these that, that people who might be surprised will get will get it, but that uh, then vantage, excuse me, will be uh, played throughout the game, obviously. So we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. Now let's talk about uh, what's going on each uh, side of the tribes, if you want, or each side of the island. All right, the millennials. We'll talk about them first, kind of quickly. What's going on? I thought. Now remember, at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the show, uh, Jeff says, "Hey guys." Uh, there's really bad weather coming. All right, get your shelter ready. All right, so that's uh, uh, the millennials. Get there, they start working on their on their, their on their little shelter and everything. And then, then they uh, decided to, uh, you know, hey, let's go, let's go for a swim. Yeah, let's get wet because it's not like it's gonna rain. We're gonna get wet later, right? Yeah, right. So they're out there playing, and all of a sudden they realize, holy shit, it's starting to get pretty dark out here. So they run in this, they're, 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 they're a big freaking scramble and build this thing. And they get in the damn thing, and the damn thing collapses. Really good, guys. That's not a good start. So, all right. So the next morning, the Jeff, of course, sends them each uh, tribe a tarp. Okay, that's another sign. It's not going to be a very nice day. So, anyways, so they, they went, as the day went on, uh, First time in Survivor history, he had to go out and pull them out and evacuate because this thing, the, cyc the storm hit a cyclone state. 
and it was going right down to the island. It was going right there. It was going to hit them right dead on. So he had to evacuate them for their safety reasons, which also makes sense at that point. Of course, then anyway, then this is what I find very interesting. They get back, and uh, who takes the, uh, the the lead to rebuild the camp was uh, Zeke. Zeke, he went out there and he said, okay, guys, let's get her done. So he basically directed everybody, got everybody going, and they actually listened to him. And this guy never built a shelter ever. But he, he was able to get one put up, so that was a really, uh, really good for him. And of course, he started a fire, which I did not expect him to start fire. So that part was great. Now let's talk about how the tribe is actually dividing up and over on that side. Now uh, the cool kids got together. They're all, hey, yeah, we're cool. So that's great. They build an alliance between, excuse me, uh, Ziggy or uh, Jay, Michelle, and Taylor. All right. Now, the not so cool kids notice that uh, Hannah, she's sitting there thinking, hmm, there's a solid four right there. Well, I need to do something. And that's what uh, showed me she's actually playing the game. So she goes over, she talks to Mary, says, Mary, we got to get together, we got to start forming our own our alliance of six because there's four there. So those four don't realize they don't have the. Uh, the advantage as far as numbers so if Hannah and Maria gets or Mary excuse me Mary uh, gets the advantage of numbers they are in trouble so we're gonna see how that works out on that side it's gonna be very interesting now let's go over to the uh, generation X now that's uh, uh, there's one person in there that really uh, stood out to me right away was David 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 this guy here, all right, is scared of everything. He's scared of the outdoors. He's scared of bugs. He's scared of shadow. You name it, he's scared of everything. He's, he's paranoid the whole nine yards. So what does he decide to do? Well, I think I'm going to apply to get on Survivor and play Survivor. All right? So that's what he does, and he's on Survivor. Well, buddy. You're not in a good spot because outdoors, paranoia, bugs, that's survivor. So I don't see him really uh, going too far in the game at this point, but who knows. All right, now let's talk about uh, what happened. Of course, obviously, uh, Generation X lost the first competition, which they, had, they went in and they... They were ahead, but they lost at the end on the, on the puzzles. And of course, at this point in the game, uh, like David, they're not going to include him, for an example, on what's going on in the in there, right? Or in, in the tribe. Because he's paranoid. So what happened with paranoid people? They tend to blab. So he is already on the out. He's, his game is in danger by his own, uh, his own fault, really. And Rachel, well, Rachel's another one that uh, she's getting in under everybody's skin. So she's also in danger in her game. So hmm, who's going to go home? Well, obviously end up was Rachel. Okay. So they see the rest of the tribe divide up the devotees. They're scared of the uh, tr uh, the uh, hidden immunity idols. But apparently there's, there's some on there, but there are some idols that's in play but you know it's kind of very interesting uh jeff never said anything about idols yet there's no clues yet i don't think there, at this point i don't know if there's idols in the game so we'll see you know that's what i think about what's going on in, in uh, survivor but one more thing by the way next week watch it somebody i think is gonna get uh, medically evac from there big time because they showed it uh Apparently, somebody that apparently took a heart attack. It'll be interesting to see who it is, and hopefully, they're okay. So, that's about it for me right now, and uh, we'll talk next week. If you're going to watch Andy WKH, I'm Andy. If you want to subscribe to my videos, by all means, do. And uh, again, thank you very much. If you want to have any comments, go right ahead. So, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.